Every time I start programming these drums, I hear war drums. Every time I start programming these drums, I start thinking about the shit that they be doing to us, y'all. We have been under attack since that goddamn ship docked. When we gonna start fighting back? Where my warriors at? Where the cats that hear these drums? Where the brothers that's not afraid? Know y'all cats got guns. Where my brothers at? With a guest that's not afraid. Man, we under attack. When we gonna start fighting back? Somebody help me, please. It's something I need to understand. How can all these brothers that's supposed to be gangsters see this shit and not take a stand? I know y'all got televisions. I know y'all see the news. I know y'all know they killing black people Like that shit is something to do When y'all gonna stand up Stop attacking each other And start attacking the real enemy They in the woods marching They soldiered up They training troops They getting prepared for us What the hell are we doing? Clowning around We got a vehicle in this music, we should be putting down the sound. War drums, y'all. War drums. that have strategic training. What you trained it for? What the hell you doing with it? You gonna take it to your grave? You need to be training these young brothers. You know they're afraid. That's why they turning on each other. They living in fear. They got the same fear them white folks got. They watch TV too. They're scared of each other. Why? The propaganda machine in America is extremely powerful. It has black people afraid of black people. You know we really don't talk. So we don't really know those are lies. Young black men are not criminally minded. They are purposely misguided. We need to take a stand publicly so that these little brothers know they're not out there alone that his brother's standing up strong and ready to do what needs to be done and ready to really lead when it really counts we under attack when we gonna start fighting back we need to be organizing instead of criticizing when you see brothers trying to make moves why you hating on brothers why you criticizing? Why you not trying to build? Why you not trying to join? You know you can't do it by yourself. That's why these organizations stagnated. They got caught up in that bureaucratic nonsense. They got caught up in their own idealistic, non-practical, dogmatic, what I'm talking about. They do not attack you because you are a Muslim. They do not attack you because you are a Christian. They do not attack you because you are a Buddhist. They do not attack you because you are a Jew. They attack you because you are black. Need I remind you? In America, things are really that simple. It's a black and white issue. Don't let them cloud the facts. Don't let them 
obscure the reality. It's still black and white in America. And blacks are still dying. And blacks are still not fighting back. Come on, people. You youngsters out there. You cats with those big ideas. Don't y'all see this clip? It's a mission. If you choose to take this mission, this tape will not self-destruct in five seconds. You can rewind it and play it back. And understand, we under attack. Make no mistake about it. It's an organized campaign. Highly financed and highly trained. That's why it persists. That's why there's no letting up. Civil War Part 2. Black folks is getting the worst, y'all. Where my brothers at? It's not afraid. Where you brothers at? It's not afraid. Where you brothers at? It's not afraid. You see what's going on. They still killing black people. They shoot that brother in the back of the head. Drag him behind a truck. Come on, y'all. You see what my brother did in Connecticut? I know y'all want to condemn that. Brother got tired of hearing that word nigga and erupted like a volcano. Now they want to make the brother crazy. They want to say he was suffering from delusions. They want to tell you that he lost his mind. What the brother did was found his mind. He found his right mind. He found his black mind. And he found his black heart. And he took some black action. He tore those crackers asses apart. That's what the hell they do to us. You never see him crying on TV. You never see him crying about lynch black people hanging in damn trees. You see him standing around. You see him smiling and taking pictures. You see him cutting off pieces so they can remember. Fuck them crackers. Connecticut. Brother should have got some more they asses. You know what they was doing. Two black people on the job around some white truckers. You know how those truckers are. I've encountered those cocksuckers. Fuck them white people in Connecticut. Should have gotten more of their asses. This is real talk. This is Brother Larry. This is my real thoughts. This ain't edited. This is coming to you live. It's time more brothers stood up and stopped this goddamn shit. If more of us stood up and did some real shit, be a lot less black people dying. Believe that shit. Oh, they know what real shit is. They not afraid of picket signs. They not afraid of marching in lines. They afraid of getting their ass whipped. They afraid of getting their heads bust. They afraid of getting shot. They afraid of getting stomped. That's what they afraid of. And that's not what's happening to them. That's what's happening to us. Look at the brother on the train platform. How the fuck that cracker gonna stand up, draw his weapon and fire on a handcuffed, defenseless black man laying face down on a train platform? Y'all don't think this shit is over? This shit is real. Civil War Part 2. This shit never stopped, y'all. 1865, the white people stopped fighting. And then the white people attacked the black people. It ain't stopped. Civil War Part 2. Y'all better wake the fuck up. Civil War Part 2. Black people wake the fuck up. Why you think they attacking us? They want to keep us in our place. You know what the fuck that was? Plantation. Mentality. Come on, people. 
time to wake up. You know what you heard on the plantation? Let me tell you, since you don't know. What you heard on the plantation was nigga, 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 Need to stop that shit. You hear me? Nigga, 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 all the goddamn time on the plantation. That shit is plantation state of mind. You need to stop that shit. What other oppressed people fighting for their freedom? calls themselves the name that the oppressor called them. Wake up. What's wrong with you people? Don't you know what the hell is going on? You've been bamboozled, hoodwinked, and led astray. Malcolm told you this. It's time for you to listen. It's time for you to understand. Put that nigga shit down. Pick up the black. Throw some green and some red on top of that shit. And stand up like the black soldiers that you are. It's time to stop this shit, y'all. It's time to stop it. Where my soldiers at? Where my warriors? Where the cast that's not afraid? Come on, y'all. That's not afraid. What's that thing in your chest? That's a heart? Where your heart at? No, you don't have to go see the wizard and get no courage. family. Black power. Black power. It's not just a statement. It's not just a slogan. It's not just something we used to say in the 60s. It's reality. Black power. That's the power we would have if we were doing things together. If we were investing in ourselves. Black power. If we were encouraging each other, black power. If we're striving to be free together, black power. I don't want to be free by myself. What kind of shit is that? Yeah, I'm free by myself. I'm enjoying my life. And my people living in misery. What kind of shit is that? I'm living lavishly, enjoying every day, and every day my people suffering. What kind of shit is that? My people lying in the street, literally dying. And I'm flying over, sipping margaritas. What kind of shit is that? I'm taking exotic vacations. Caribbean islands and my people on those Caribbean islands can't even walk on the same beach I'm staying at at a resort hotel what kind of shit is that? 